Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper back at you with Plugin Boutique and I've got another quick tip tutorial for Serato Studio. This one's on effects automation inside of the drum sequencer. So I've got a pretty standard hip hop style drum loop here. Now for one way to add kind of an automated feel is to hold control and click up and down and you can change the velocity of any one of these notes. For example, if I wanted to add a little bit of a groove here, I could just hold down control, click and drag down every other hi-hat here and I'll get a nice little groove. Now you need to be careful on how far you bring it down. You can also notice the color or saturation of the block will actually change depending on how far down you pull it or how high up you do as well. When I'm in the editor mode here, I can solo just the drum sequence or I can solo any one of the actual drum lanes. So if I solo the hi-hats here, I can also mute any of them as well. And that's just a couple of bonus features there. Now what I can do is come over here to the robot. And if I click the robot, I actually can automate a number of different parameters for each one of these lanes. If I click right here on this dropdown, you can see I can automate the gain, the high EQ, mid EQ, low EQ, filter values, those are right here. I can also automate the effects on or off, and I can also automate key shifting and tempo shifting as well. So that's on a per so that's on a per lane basis or if I click up here at the top this is on the full drum sequencer basis. So let's go ahead and add an effect. I'm going to come over here, click right here so I can see my effects lanes. I'm going to turn on drum reverb because that seems like the right one to use for my drum kit. Just go ahead and click it to activate it and watch what happens as I pull up the parameter here. Now, let's say I don't want my kick to be triggering any reverb. What I can do is come over here to the drop down, go to effects on, and just pull it down for my drum kicks. And now, if I wanted to increase the value over time, I could just simply move the parameter here and it will update over here, or I can actually select it from the drop down. And you can see that we're automating that parameter over time. So as I said, you can do that for the entire sequence itself or on a channel by channel basis by just clicking the channel or by using the selector radio buttons over here on the left. And then once you've made all of your changes to your automation, just click that robot and you'll be back into your editor mode. Anyway, that was a quick tip on using effects automation inside of Serato Studio. If you have any other questions about this piece of software, just put them in the comments and I'll try to respond to you as fast as I can. I've been Joshua Casper. I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next video.